what's up guys how to do welcome to today's edition program Zers tv now in this class we're going to see how to create a very beautiful email form okay this is an email form that can actually be used to create of course an email okay so this is what we're going to see right here first you can see we have the two in the two we have this combo box whereby the user can select the user or you can go ahead and then type okay so you can either select or type the email onto to the email okay the email id where we're going to send this particular email then of course you can choose the priority right here also in another combo box then we have right here the subject where you can type of course the subject and then of course we have the uh, text area where we can go ahead and type our message and then we click send and if we click send you can see right here that our message was successfully sent now this is just a simulation we're not necessarily sending it all we're interested in is of course how to see uh how to create this particular email form right here okay this is what we're going to see we have several combo boxes and then our text field and a text area a button and then this particular label which will show us okay so this is what we're going to look at we'll see how we can do this one in java fx which is a modern uh java framework for creating user interfaces so this is what we're going to see so let's get started okay so let's get started now today i'm going to use visual studio code okay so visual studio code is actually a text editor that also allow us to write java so you can actually install the java extension then you can write your java code right here in visual studio code that's what i'm going to do okay so first and foremost as usual we must have our imports okay so we add the import statements then of course we're going to then create our class this class we are calling it the email form so email form will turn it into a java effects application by making it derive from the application class now once we've done that one then we can then come right here and of course as final properties of this class we can have a send button which will be used to send our email or to simulate it and then a label which will act as our notification and then of course a subject which of course is a text field and then a text area which will represent the message then we come right here and then have our address a string initialize to empty then we'll come and then override the start method so this start method is normally the entry point to all javafx applications it normally takes in the primary stage onto which the um the primary stage onto which of course our application is going to be set so first we start by setting the title of that particular stage then we can then have uh, the scene right here in our scene we pass in an instance of a group and then of course the width and height okay so in this case our width will be 500 and height 270 so this will be the width of our window then we can then come and then instantiate the email combo box so final combo box email combo box equal to new combo box then we can add items to our combo box using the add all method so we're going to initialize it with some items and then we can then prompt the text to that will be shown okay email address the prompt text then of course we come and then set it to editable so that combo box will actually be editable then inside it we can then pass in a lambda expression so in this lambda expression of course as with all lambda expressions to the left on the expression we have of course to the left of our arrow sign we have the input parameters in this case we're inputting an event into our function and then to the right we have of course the body of the function so what will we do in the body well first of course we're going to get the selected item from our email combo box so email combo box that get selection model that get selected item then the to string then of course we come also create the priority combo box so final priority combo box equal to new combo box then we're going to add these as our priorities the highest priority high priority normal priority low priority 
as well as the lowest priority now the default one is going to be the normal then we come and then set our cell factory we're going to create custom cells for this particular combo box so we use the cell factory right here we're going to pass in a callback uh, object now in our anonymous class right here we're going to override the list cell uh, sorry we're going to override the call method which should return for us the list cell so we can then take advantage of this one and then um, customize that particular cell before returning it so we come right here final list cell cell equal to new list cell we instantiate it and then we set the preferred width to 100 dp then of course you're also going to override the update item you can see this method is taking in the string which is our item as well as a boolean indicating empty so first we invoke the update item of the super class passing in those parameters then we'll check if our item is not equal to null if it is not then you're going to invoke the set text and then pass of course our item right here okay then we check if our item that contains high then we're going to fill that particular cell with, with color red so set text color dot red if that item contains low then we're going to fill it with the green color now if that is not the case then we'll just leave it as color black okay otherwise we set text to null okay so that will do for us that will allow us to update those particular cell their background color then return the cell the that we return that particular list cell object now once we've done that one then you can then come and then simulate sending the email when our send button is clicked so send button dot set on action then of course we pass in a lambda expression then of course to the left we have the, our action event then of course to the right we have the body of the lambda expression so we'll check if email combo box dot get value is not equal to null and not email dot get value dot to string that is empty if then we are going to go ahead and set our notification text so notification dot set text your message was successfully sent to then we show the address that the user had actually chosen or typed then of course we set the value now to null now we're going to check if our priority combo box that get value is not equal to null and not priority combo box that get value dot to string dot is empty then priority combo box the set value we set it to null then we clear our subject so subject dot clear then you also clear the text the text is actually the message so message dot clear or text dot clear then if that's not the case then we're going to set our notification text as this one please select a recipient first okay we'll inform the user to select a recipient now we come right here and then instantiate a grid pen we are going to set our vertical gap to 4 and then horizontal gap to 10 then we set the padding right here by using the insets class then we're going to add our label to then we add our combo box we add our priority label as well also priority combo box then of course add our uh, subject label okay then we can add the subject itself which is the text field then add of course the text for our message okay the text field for the message and then the send button then the notification then we come right here and have our group okay we obtain it of course from our scene then of course we get its children and then add our grid pen right to our group then we set of course our scene object to our stage then of course we show the stage okay using the show method now we'll come to the main method right here so in this main method we're just going to invoke the launch right here so launch okay so that is it right here that's all we need to do for our code then of course we can then proceed over and run our project by just clicking right here okay so if you run the project you can see right here we can go ahead select the email or we can type it then you can select the priority then of course type of course the subject then go ahead and then type our message and then click send 
and then you can see your message is successfully sent so this is it guys this is what we've looked at like this video share it make sure you guys subscribe to our channel program users tv we're doing tutorials on a daily basis okay so you can also check our website campusha.info uh, guys take care i'll catch you in the next class